when I came down here, I was working for the people that owned this place and and everything in in this country and in Stanley County around in the area was pretty much a 50-50 deal at half summer follow, which was like Dwayne would say, it was the desert out there that we were maintaining and uh, the other half was winter wheat. With Dave starting the soil transition phase, Levi's picking it up and increasing the value of what Dave actually started. So it's kind of unique. You don't see that in a lot of operations. There's a few of them around, but Levi and Dave have done a good job. Our journey kind of started when we were going to different meetings and seeing other producers and what they're doing to help improve their soil. We uh, slowly started getting diverse in our rotations. After we got diverse in the rotations, we started using cover crops, both full season and after wheat harvest. We got started in the no-till and it's been real rewarding to see what's gone on with the soil here and what's gone on with our operation. Everything's pretty much continuous crop and we're learning to manage our water and manage our soil. This area, we don't really have the moisture to do corn and beans and corn and beans. Those are long season crops. We've got to have some wheat in there and peas, which are a little shorter season, tend to be able to produce a crop with less moisture usage. Um, but with no-till, it's really important to use that crop rotation um, because we're not getting rid of that residue. So we've got to move to other crops to help us control weeds and diseases and some of the other pests that come along with crops. We like diversity in, in our plants. We like the warm season, cool season grasses and broad leaves. And we also like diversity in our animals. We bought chickens and then from there, um, my youngest son had a milk allergy and so we got dairy goats and that got us into the dairy goats. And uh, my wife likes rodeo and so we got horses and then we had some cows for a little while of our own. It got really, really dry one year and we had to sell them off. And since then, we have just rented out our pasture and done custom grazing of our pastures. Levi and Crystal have done a great job integrating uh, cattle in there. Um, they're planting full season cover crops and then yeah, after the winter weeds, they'll plant the cover crops and then they can graze them. And it's just amazing benefits that you get from the use of livestock as well. What we did is looked at the native prairie as a model and then try to see how close we could come to doing what the native prairie did because that, that's been successful and would be successful if we left. So how do, you, how do you mimic that? And that's where the diversity thing comes in and then the livestock thing, there used to be animals here and big ones and small ones. So that's all part of that system. Five principles of soil health are Minimal soil disturbance, keep diversity in plants and animals, integrating livestock, keeping living rest in the soil as much as possible, and keeping the soil covered. I think probably my dad's motivation to start all this was to make better of what he had, to make it work for you without having to go out and be a great big farm, to grow quality crops, to be able to market to have the land here for our future generations and that's kind of one of my big goals is to have it here not only for my children but my children's children. I'm really excited that our kids are excited about being part of the farm and learning the soil health parts. I think getting our youth involved at a young age is very important for a future in agriculture. <laughs>